Did you make geographic farming part of your business plan for 2023? Then tune into this video where I'm gonna help you polish your plan for geographic farming and extend above and beyond just sending letters and postcards. My name is Roman Ivanov. I'm a real estate coach with Tom Ferry, and on this channel, I'm showing you solutions and strategies to make your business thriving. So we want to discuss how we can start a brand new farm, uh, how to locate the farm, and how to get the most money possible when everyone's complaining about this marketing strategy. You want to be in the farm that has enough turnovers. You want to look back at 2022 and see how many properties located in your farm. And then you want to see how many homes have been sold in 2022 and calculate the ratio. So to give you an example, if your farm is 100 homes and five homes sold in 2022, that means that there is 5% conversion rate. That's pretty healthy market where it would start marketing. If you have too high of a conversion rate, most likely people are escaping this neighborhood and it's not really a good one. Same thing if you have way too low of the conversion rate. If you have 1-2%, that means that this is established community and people just tend to stay in homes for a long time. So second, you want to calculate average sales price. In this real estate business, everything is about the numbers. So you want to see how the sales of this home will drive the marketing forward. Yes, we need to allocate the budget to start it, but if we're gonna sell homes that not financially making sense for us to market, then we would want to find another neighborhood. So I would say that from the sale of two homes, you need to allocate the marketing budget for the whole entire year. The next step is reviewing your competition. If you're targeting really hot, nice, expensive market or the development, then most likely other agents will be present. Now you need to evaluate how strong is the agent that you compete with. If the agent takes over more than 75% of the sales in this neighborhood, then you'll have a lot of challenges fighting that agent who already established in the neighborhood. When you enter in the market, uh, you want to start with the listing. Listing will give you all the opportunities to grab more and more buyers and sellers who would be interested in selling and buying in this neighborhood. So the easiest way of getting a listing is to send the neighborhood a letter with, I have a buyer. Yes, you would have to have a buyer in your database who would be an avatar for this particular neighborhood, but we all have buyers. This is what we do. We have over 200 active buyers right now in our database. So if I would say I have a buyer, I wouldn't be lying. I just don't know if your home would be a good fit for my buyer. So I would start with sending these letters to the neighborhood and obtaining your first listing. But what happens if you don't have a listing? Reach out to the listing agents who already have listings in this market and offer them to host an open house. Even if you host an open house, for the listing that don't belong to you and you have to know that in your marketing, you're still reaching out to all the neighborhood asking them, do you know someone who wants to live close by? Maybe your friend, your relative. Let them know that you actively market into the neighborhood. Put your branding next to the listing with the note courtesy of XYZ Realty and send the postcards to the neighborhood. Reach out to the neighborhood via circle dialing. You can also door knock and personally invite neighbors to your open house so the neighbors will know you, not necessarily the listing agent. When you establish yourself as a real estate agent in community, when you connect with every single home seller, now we need to nurture them. Let's imagine that you sold that house and you don't have any more inventory. Then I would suggest nurturing. First thing, I would start from creating a Facebook group so we want to build value for the residents of your community. We want to create subgroups such as lost and found and people will post about lost cats or dogs. We can create a subgroup in your 
community group as for sale and neighbors can sell stuff like uh, yard sales or garage sales right in your group. I would also invite you to take an extra step and create neighborhood news in this Facebook group when you go live every Friday or Sunday whenever it's more convenient for your audience and you talk about what's happening in community. It can be a new coffee shop just opened across the street, uh, the cat just lost or we have uh, that pet hall in the corner of 123 and Banana Street. Be cautious. So these weekly check-ins will not necessarily be about real estate but will bring a lot of value to the participants with a slight touch of real estate in this group, you'll be the one that everyone knows and trusts. Because you're not only thinking about buying or selling real estate, but you really want to be the community realtor. So since we're talking about social media, we can't necessarily target this audience geographically because of the guidelines of Facebook. But what we can do, we can download the list of all the members of your form and upload them to Facebook or to YouTube to create a custom audience. So you can target to this particular homeowners directly regardless if they own this home and live somewhere else or this is their primary residence. You can run Facebook ads, you can run Instagram ads, Google pay-per-click ads as well as YouTube community videos. Next step to nurture our relationship is to participate in two community events. We can easily set at least four events in your community, in your farm. First would be photo with Santa. Christmas just around the corner and we can start from meet the Santa or take a photo with Santa. Egg hunt in spring. For the summer we can always have the flag giveaway for 4th of July when we actively gonna door knock community asking the permission of the homeowner to put the flag in their front lawn so we can spark the conversation if you give them something in value such as flag for 4th of July that everyone would appreciate it also spark a conversation I'm your community realtor I'm connecting with home sellers and I might find someone who's interested in selling. If I find a list in this community, can you think of someone who would be interested in buying here? Let's talk about the technology. You can put your mailing and marketing on autopilot with websites such as geographicfarm.com. And as you notice, I didn't start with it because I want you to establish yourself as a well-known trusted realtor first before you can put it in autopilot. If you start from ordering services from this type of companies, then you'll burn a lot of cash before you're gonna see the results. Number two, you can use lens design. I would recommend you to use every door direct mail for your community. Even if you hit a tenant accidentally, it's okay. If he's living in this community, he will know about you and he might be a good buyer. Or he might know someone who would be interested in moving close by and buy a home or he can pass the information to his landlord. Regardless, it's much cheaper to send every door direct mail rather than the first class mail that might go to the sellers, to the homeowners mailing address directly. Depends on your budget, depends on your goals. You have these two options. Every door direct mail, less expensive. First class mail will go directly to the homeowner's address, but it will come with a cost. Number three, I really like using Vistaprint for all print materials, for brochures, for door hangers, even printing the logo to your t-shirt and walking around the neighborhood, it will also add a little more brand awareness to your farm. And the last one, you need to have interactive website that will allow you to convert leads in your farm. You don't necessarily want to send a spam email to all the email addresses that you can buy online you want to get that permission from the homeowner for in order for you to contact them so your website should collect their data in return to something in value as an example it can be a guide for buyers or sellers it can be uh, offered to subscribe for email list for that particular community 
you name it. But we need to have a tool that will convert the leads into appointments. And the easiest way is through a landing page on your website designed to this community. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.